the upcoming abomination known as Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Treyarch and Activision are back at it with this shit again, trying to milk this franchise for every last penny. And oh boy, do they have a steaming pile of garbage in store for us. First off, let's talk about the groundbreaking setting. The early 1990s, really? Are we going to be fighting off the fucking beanie baby craze or something? I can't wait to see how they shoehorn in some half-baked story from a bunch of disgruntled blockbuster employees who lost their jobs to Netflix. And don't even get me started on this so-called omni-movement system. Sprint in any direction? Slide, dive and prone like a maniac? Congratulations! You've just turned Call of Duty into a bad Cirque du Soleil performance. I'm sure the community is going to love getting shot from every possible angle by some try-hard doing backflips and cartwheels across the map. And let's not forget about the meat shield mechanic. Because apparently, bullet sponges weren't enough. Now we've got human sponges too. I'm sure that's going to be a real fun and balanced addition to the game. But wait, there's more. They'd increase the hit zones from four to nine regions because apparently they think we're all training to be surgeons in our spare time. <sighs> and don't forget about the corner slicing feature, which is just a fancy way of saying your gun will spaz out every time you turn a corner. Immersion. The campaign. Oh, I'm sure it'll be just as iconic as the missions in Cold War. You know, the ones that were so memorable, I can't even remember what they were about. But hey, at least we'll have choices and alternate paths, right? I'm sure those will be just as impactful as choosing between a red or blue door in a haunted house. And can we talk about the safe house, huh? Because nothing screams exciting gameplay like wandering around an abandoned mansion looking for secrets. I'm sure the evidence board will be a real thrill too. Maybe we can use it to figure out why Treyarch keeps rehashing the same old ideas year after year. But hey, at least they're bringing back the prestige system because there's nothing more fun than grinding for hours on end just to unlock a shiny new emblem that nobody will ever see. And with 1,000 additional prestige master levels, you'll be able to know life this game well into the next century. Zombies. More like snooze fest. Sure, they're bringing back round-based maps and continuing the Dark Aether storyline. But let's be real. It's just going to be the same old shit with a fresh coat of paint. And don't get too excited about those zombie-specific features, folks. It's probably just going to be a new type of wonder weapon that breaks the game on day one. In conclusion, Black Ops 6 is shaping up to be the biggest flop since New Coke. But hey, at least we'll have a shiny new coat of next-gen graphics to distract us from the fact that we're playing the same game we've been playing for the past decade. So mark your calendars for October 25th, folks, because that's the day the franchise officially dies.